welcome to part one of the organizing workshops in the organizing shop. Today we're going to be learning how to organize a home office. This is a typical mess of a home office, which we come about a lot. There are stamps, envelopes, random papers, mail, um, some books, some wires, and some CDs and DVDs. So the first step that we do is we start with Julie Morgenstern's acronym SPACE, sort, purge, assign a home, containerize, and equalize. So the first step that we would do here is to sort. Sort means to make different categories. So I'm going to start with sorting the stamps with the envelopes that sort of goes together. That's going to go in one compartment. I see a bunch of pens here. I'm going to make that into a different section. Now we need to figure out the purging concept. S P A C E. P stands for purge. So the really the idea with purge is to get rid of anything that is not necessary, that is uh, broken, scratched, not needed, and causes grief. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the papers since that is the biggest job and what needs a lot of work. So what I see here is, I'm going to turn them around and see what I can throw out from here. Um, when you have a large family and there's lots of kids and lots of papers coming home, it's very important to constantly be looking at it, seeing if it's necessary to keep it or not, make that instant decision to quickly get rid of it if you can, just so you're not left with piles of paper. I find that the reason home offices keep getting fuller and fuller and messier and messier is because people are not so comfortable making instant decisions about papers. But if you would realize that 80% of the papers are instant decisions, like right away, you know, I do need this, I don't need that. Um, the things that you're not sure about, those are the things that you can definitely keep. Uh, this is a master grocery list that I order from every single week. That's something that I definitely need to keep and something that I like to have in my home office at all times. So we sorted and we purged. Now we're up to assigning a home. A stands for assigning a home. So the first thing that I do is I decide that I need an inbox and an outbox, okay? One is for incoming mail that hasn't been opened or hasn't been taken care of yet, and outbox is for things that need to be filed. So it's very simple. I quickly go through my papers that are now all organized. I have my, my mail that I haven't touched yet or that I still need to take care of goes in my inbox. Um, this is a, a statement form that I need to fill out that goes in my inbox. This is a, my articles that I pulled out that I would like to either find home for or file, so that's going to go in my outbox. Um, my master list that I order groceries from every single day is also going to go in my inbox. Um, actually, I would, that can go in either or, the in or the out. And then these are just random papers that need to get taken care of. All these things are things that need to get taken care of. And then here's a couple of things that need to be filed. So the things that need to be filed again go in the outbox. And the things that need to be taken care of are going in the inbox. That right away takes care of my paper. What's great about this is that as you are organizing your papers, as soon as the papers come into your house, you right away have where to put them. And we are big believers in keeping papers standing up versus flat because vertical is visual and horizontal is hiding. So when you're looking through papers, it's much easier to see them when you actually have them in there. Here is a very cute desk organizer. I can put the wires in one little drawer. And it actually has another drawer next to it that I can put the pens in. So that takes care of finding a home, standing sign home for the wires and the pens. The one book that you do use all the time is, let's say, a planner. That can also go in this little desk organizer and it stays neat that way. But in the other, on another, we need to find another home for these books. The last little bit that we have left here are the envelopes and the checks and the stamps. This helps us get what we need to get done right away. As soon as we're going through the mail and we need to find homes for things, uh, a check, book, and some envelopes, and some stamps is a good thing. So this looks like a little bit of a mess. And then the same idea, put my envelopes here with my checkbook. And there we have a beautiful little desk that before was such a mess. And now everything really has a home. So we assign the home and we containerize, which means we put things in the right containers. And then the last step is equalizing, which means making sure to keep this little home off the top. Now once everything has a proper home and everything was purged on a constant basis, the equalizing is pretty simple. Let's take a couple of minutes every day to just make sure everything goes back. Let's say you left the pen out or you use the wire to charge your phone. Quickly put it back as soon as you're done, one to two minutes every day. 
And then that, if you stay organized, come on this one.